the organization of Islamic cooperation is now formally endorsing South Africa's charges of genocide against the state of Israel. This is gigantic because the OIC is the second largest intergovernmental organization next to the UN. The OIC has 57 member states and they put out a statement that says that there must be urgent action taken to end the genocide of the Palestinians by Israel. We have all of these states that are coming out against Israel and endorsing the genocide charges against them. And we are still a week away from the hearing. Ooh, just to wait until South Africa starts reading all those receipts that they gather next week. So Israel, seeing international support against them grow, surely they have a great strategy to counter South Africa's very well detailed and legitimate claims of genocide against the state of Israel, right? Right? Condemns South Africa's decision to play advocate for the devil. And they're saying South Africa is complicit with Hamas. Good luck with that argument in court. The average Zionist argues like a fucking toddler, man. <laughs> if I was Israeli, I'd be like, if you don't like the Kansas City Chiefs, you are Hamas. If you eat pineapples on pizza, you are Hamas. If you wear socks with sandals, you are definitely Hamas. Okay, okay, okay. So we can all acknowledge that calling everyone Hamas is not a good legal strategy, but surely Israel hired top legal talent, right? Someone of great moral standing that will make Israel look good on the international stage, right? Wrong. Israel just selected Alan Dershowitz, notorious pedophile rapist lawyer who would just implicated in the Epstein documents, which is not surprising because Jeffrey Epstein worked with the Mossad in order to blackmail politicians on behalf of Israel. But you guys are not ready for that conversation.